Hey, what's going on guys? It's Carson Lafine Fitness here. We're about to go to the gym and hit a leg workout for you guys. I'm gonna do a commentary over the leg workout because I don't wanna have the music playing in the background. So I'm just gonna do my leg workout and then I'll have a commentary for you guys later today. Just let me know what you guys think, what you wanna see. If you wanna see me vlog it all, what I'm doing during the day, just let me know. Thank you. Hey guys, we're at, we're at uh, Best Buy right now and uh, this is this is the microphone that I'm gonna get for you guys, so just let me know if the sound quality is better than what I had before. It should be a lot better because I was just using like an Xbox gaming mic for my last video, so there shouldn't be any like white noise. And I'm hoping this one will be a lot better. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at getting a camera too, but I think I'm gonna wait on that because they're the one I'm thinking of getting is like three hundred dollars, and right now I'm just using my iPhone, so I'm gonna keep using that for a little while and then. I'll probably get a different camera for vlogging and stuff like that and then you guys can let me know how the quality is on that and let me know some good cameras that I could look at that are are decent price not too expensive but um yeah I'm gonna get this mic for you guys and then let me know how the sound quality is and I'm gonna go hit a leg workout for you guys hey guys welcome to the commentary here Today I'm going to be taking you through my leg workout and as you can tell it's it's Monday and I decided that I'm going to do my three leg days a week split and just try that out. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to be able to keep doing that or we'll see if I can keep doing that because I really want to grow my legs. You guys can tell that my, my lower body is quite a bit smaller than my upper body. And I, I get a lot of comments about that so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to grow my legs a lot this off season and uh, see what we can do about the smaller leg issue but besides that so I, I started off with uh, a five minute uh, elliptical warm-up because I always like to start off with a, a warm-up on the treadmill or on the elliptical to get my legs warmed up and make sure that I'm not just going into my workout cold and then right after that, I went into some stretching. I actually got these stretches from one of Christian Guzman's videos with Vinny Rehab. And I don't know, I, I actually really enjoy these. I, I never really liked stretching before. I always just kind of went right into my workouts. I didn't think stretching was really anything that I needed to do. But my hips are always really tight, so I like to, I like to warm up now. And these are really simple workout or warm-ups that you guys can do if you want to want to do them too but you don't have to I mean it's just something that I like to do because I know it works for me and then this one is just a, a squat to make sure that I can hit my depth and that I'm flexible enough for my sets so then jumping right into squats I did something that I don't really usually do on squats just because it was my first leg workout back from my competition and from cutting for about 15 weeks so I started off with like 135 and I think I did this for 15 reps only everything felt really heavy today guys I'm gonna be honest with you I know I, I know I don't have the best form on squats but my form's pretty good and I can I can help you guys if you need help on your squat form so if you guys have any questions about squatting and stuff like that just let me know but yeah for this workout I I started with 135 and I did like a pyramid up up to 225 so I, I think I did 185 then for like 10 to 12 reps and then my last set you guys will see is 225 and I did that for like a drop set I like to incorporate drop sets just because I, I like working at a fast pace for my list and I like the feeling of getting fatigued when I'm lifting I don't like just doing like a set, waiting for a couple minutes, doing another set, waiting. I like to always be moving in my in my workouts just because I feel like I'm getting a better workout in then and I feel like it's a lot harder, you know. You're keeping your heart rate up, you're burning more calories doing that and it's just more fun for me to train that way. That's the style that I've always done. I've always liked to train with like supersets or drop sets or whatever it may be just to speed up the tempo and keep the the time under tension on the muscles and just make them more fatigued that's the way I like to train so 
So yeah, you'll see here, I right after my 225 set, which I think I only got six reps, which is pretty, pretty poor to be honest. 225 isn't really a weight that that that's that heavy for me. It's just I've been doing a ton of cardio and leg days twice a week for for my cut, which really took a lot out of me. So the strength is isn't really there right now, but it's gonna come back really fast. So don't worry about that. It's gonna I should be able to be squatting 275 pretty soon for reps. So yeah, then on these ones, I did like a, a slow a slow uh, eccentric part of the lift and then it was almost a pause at the bottom and then I came up pretty fast. So I think I only did like five reps on these, but try these out, they're actually really tough. Then after the squatting pyramid that we did, we went right into leg press. And I think I did a, a super set for leg press. I did uh, leg press and stiff leg deadlifts or straight leg deadlifts, whatever you want to call them, with dumbbells. And uh, on these, I like to go pretty slowly on the way down and then don't lock out your knees. It kind of looks like I'm locking out my knees at the top of the lift, but you don't want to lock out your knees because... If you lock out your knee, then your knee might buckle and go backwards, and you really don't want that. For these, the form is a little bit tough. Honestly, my back should be a little bit more arched where my uh, right above my butt. But on these, you want to go down, keep your back flat, and you can arch your back a little bit at the bottom. And then you come up pulling with your hamstrings. It's kind of hard to explain, I guess, but you want to keep the weight on your heels and then just pull with your hamstrings you'll have to like try this movement out and get a feel for it before you can actually like understand what I'm talking about during the movement and then here's the second set of my leg press and stiff leg dead deadlift super set we I think we did three sets of this so on this one I'm doing I'm doing three plates and I'm trying to get at least 12 to 15 reps all three of my sets were in that 12 to 15 rep range I think and that's something I is it's the same with all my training I like to for my squats sometimes I'll go heavy or like my compound movement I'll go pretty heavy and then for my auxiliary movements or my like extra movements I like to keep the rep range pretty high sometimes it's even like 20 plus reps just to really burn out the muscle and and fatigue the muscle and try to make it grow get some blood into the muscle and make it grow but yeah then this was my second set of stiff leg deadlifts you can see that I'm trying to really keep the the weight on my heels and just pull with my hamstrings because that's that's how you're gonna get a good hamstring stretch and it actually works your glutes really well alright guys getting into the final like quad lift I guess I would say we did a seated quad extension and we did four sets of this anywhere from 15 to 20 reps we went really high reps on this we wanted to burn out the quads and uh, some tips on this I would say that I really like to I, I hold it for a second at the top it's kinda hard to see in this video but it's actually like I, I hold it for a split second at the top just to get a really good cr contraction and then I'll go slow on the way down just to keep the tension on the muscle during the lift but yeah um, those are some tips for this work for this lift and yeah I know that this might not seem like the most amount of volume you I said I do a lot of volume for all my all my uh, muscle groups but keep in mind that I'm trying out a three three day leg leg split so three leg workouts a week is a lot of a lot of legs and I don't want to be fatigued for my next workout if I'm well I'm gonna be fatigued but I don't want to be completely dead for my next workout if I'm doing you know eight to ten movements on legs the first day of the week I gotta cut the volume down a little bit in order to do three leg workouts a week and I might not even keep this workout routine the whole time until my next shred because it might not be possible to keep up. My legs might get too fatigued. So we're just going to play it by ear. And if 
if it changes I'll probably move back to my push pull legs workout because I really enjoy doing that one but then our last movement was a seated hamstring curl I really like doing this one because I can get it done fast um, sometimes I do a single leg one but we were, we didn't really have that much time it was already almost 10 o'clock so I kind of wanted to get home and then work on this video and get this video out for you guys and let you guys know that I'm gonna be doing more videos and trying to I, I got this new mic so I wanted to try that out right away but yeah then I think after this we just did a little bit of calves and I was gonna do abs but I think I'm gonna hit abs in my next workout so I'll, I'll show you guys that probably but yeah this was the last um, exercise of the day I think we did three sets of this anywhere from 15 to 20 reps and yeah I know I have small calves but I'm trying to get them bigger we're trying to grow them small calf gang what can I say but uh, I'm gonna end the commentary here let me know what the mic sounds like and thank you guys for watching hey guys so we just finished up the workout it's pretty late now it's like 10 o'clock so I'm gonna I'm gonna get a protein shake in, get a little bit of food in, take a shower, and then get to bed. And I'll probably do, you guys will see the commentary tomorrow. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. And then I'm gonna record another video later this week. I think we're gonna do some chest and back. So you guys will see that. I'll probably do another commentary for that. Maybe I'll have a little bit of vlogging in that video too. But uh, yeah, just let me, let me know what you guys think. If you want to see more vlogging, I'll do more vlogging. I want to get a better camera for that, but for right now, I'm just going to use my iPhone, and then I'll keep doing some vlogging, and I'll, I'll definitely keep up, keep up with the, the lifting videos. So if you guys like those, if you want to see any specific lifting video, let me know. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.